I wish to join my colleagues in commending uh, Mr. President for taking up this bold uh, initiative. Uh, I think it is all very clear that this sector needs to be reformed. This sector needs to be developed. A lot of stakeholders need to be on board. And Nigerian citizens need to have a more clearer understanding of what the livestock industry means in terms of contribution to national development. Uh, I think my colleagues have earlier uh, explained that in much more details. For every production system, there are various components, there are various requirements, and there are different stakeholders that are involved. And the processes of the production system involves different stages. And most of the focus in the popular discourse is as if when we are speaking, it's just about getting land for cattle to but beyond land for cattle to graze, there are a lot of other opportunities along the entire value chain for all category of Nigerians. And I think this is very important. So strategically speaking, it's a traditionally based production system if you come to the ruminant livestock. And in ruminant livestock, we are talking about cattle, sheep, and goats, principally in Nigeria, because we have fewer camels, unlike many other Sahelian countries. If you pick the three major animals, apart from poultry um, and other small ruminants and pigeries, you find that cattle, sheep, and goats are the major ruminant population. How are these, who are the owners of this ruminant population and how are these ruminant populations managed? If you take sheep, for example, sheep is a common household uh, animal that is maintained by smallholder producers in both the urban and rural areas by all ethnic groups across the country, but most particularly in northern Nigeria. If you take goats, goats is also an animal that is managed by smallholder producers, the rural, by all Nigerians across the country. The north, the northwest, the, uh, the north, the south, and the southwest. So I maintain in the house. Yeah. I, I, so they are very important and critical uh, livestock for the sustenance of the rural women economy, for the sustenance of smallholder producers. Then coming to cattle, cattle are more dominant in northern Nigeria, and they are livestock that are predominantly owned by the headers, managed under, you know, uh, uh, peasant production systems with huge potentials for improvement. So how have this system appeared and how has it been managed? And why is it driving some of these conflicts? Now, wherever I speak, I always want to draw attention that the conflicts, although very devastating as it is, is not everywhere. It's most prominent in areas where the management of intercommunity relations, where the management of land resources have been altered by either population growth or by climate change or by the introduction of ethnic, religious and other political considerations into the production system. So if we address, if we remove politics, we remove ethnicity, we remove the, all these uh, negative considerations that uh, negate the development of the sector, you find out that the cattle resources are a resources of the communities wherever they exist. So talking about that, we will, I think, focusing on developing integrated crop livestock systems for smallholder producers that promotes beneficial crop livestock exchanges between crop farmers and livestock producers that integrate animal manpower into agriculture as we are increasingly seeing, the use of work pools to plow agricultural fields, the use of animals to support some of the key agricultural practices the fertilization of our degraded soils using uh, uh, organic manure we derive from animals, the conversion of animal uh, crop byproducts into viable and important livestock feeds that will increase productivity. We will begin to see increased livestock productivity, increased crop productivity for crop farmers, for higher productivity, for animal producers, higher productivity and incomes for the varied stakeholders along the entire value chains.
we will then begin to see increased private sector investment. We'll begin to see increased uh, investment by rural producers themselves in improved animal production systems. And this will gradually lead us to the introduction of integrated uh, farms that we are, like we are seeing by both large-scale investors, small-scale investors, and possibly international investors that will place Nigeria in a strategic position to contribute not only to the food security of its own citizens, but to the food security of the entire West African sub-region and open up our potentials for the export economy to other uh, countries. Importantly, most of our animal resources are still very useful and very, uh, let me say, indigenous species that have very high productive capacities and which are organic. So implying that many of these uh, biotic uh, engineering that has taken place for some of the animal species in other climes and people who are looking for these organic foods will rush to countries like Nigeria and other West African countries for organic products from animal resources. And these are huge opportunities that we will exploit. And I think this is the vision of Mr. President and the committee and the ministry have an enormous tax, just like His Excellency, uh, distinguished Senator, uh, long explained to more